Hi friends, wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year and this is the mindset of any person who welcomes new year that this new year be prosperous, happy, joy, bring a lot of glories in my life and transform my life into a more blessed one and uh, at this time uh, uh, we are going to see some predictions and about India and current topic which is running is and uh, I will sing a Tamil song Kalasa Kalasala Kailasa Yenge Chalno This is because a, a devotee in uh, first devotee or something a person in India who is a prof who used to prophesize and uh, who used to talk about this uh, Shanti and all those has absconded because he has child abuse cases and child abduction cases were filed against him in India and he has posted a website and he is saying that uh, I am giving, I have created a new country called as Kailasa and I am giving visa to everyone and he has given some application as well but the country where it sits is it's not known whether it will be tax haven or not I don't know because I don't know where the country is so I will make videos about tax haven as well those are countries where there is no need to pay tax the government will sell some products or services to his citizen and by virtue of what the income it gets the country will run but they will collect a fee and give citizenship that's different so this is how these tax havens function and because of the huge tax savings most of the people who are on independent roles and uh, financial institutions target tax havens and uh, Mauritius is a tax haven to say an example so those kinds of tax havens grow much higher and people who want to have a less tax zone they move towards those people those places so it's short about tax haven now getting into 2020 uh, India's vision was to become a uh, supreme power by 2020 that was the wish of our uh, beloved former president of India Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam who always thought of well-being of the students they're living in a world where people cannot digest a certain group of people getting into education the people who are in education field and other related activities who cannot digest the all the students getting education because they feel that they will become competition to their children. We have seen that kind of a world as well. So in that kind of a world, uh, we have to survey and come up. And but uh, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, on all the ways, uh, they he worked for the well-being of the nation. And today, uh, by 19, 2019 itself, we are a nuclear triad that supremacy we are the first in the world to become nuclear triad that achievement even though Dr. Abdul Kalam APJ Abdul Kalam was not there at this point of time let it be missile technology when missiles were failing and the Abdul Kalam was threatened with 20 years of rigorous imprisonment, imprisonment if the mission fails he named the mission as uh, the missile as fire with the uh, bringing in the basic concept of science that fire always goes up in the minds of all the people bringing in a positive energy into the minds of all the people so that energy and that flame has lifted up India to become a nuclear triad nuclear triad is something where we can uh, fire a nuclear uh, uh, bomb from both land uh, air and sea whether it be the surface of the sea from a ship or from the or from a submarine which is beneath the sea level that kind of supremacy India has got and India is the first nation to achieve this and Brahmo's uh, cruise missiles are being one of the fastest missile of its class and uh, uh, so now what we are going to see more on this video is some other interesting things for India like uh, in India in uh, aeronautical space research artificial intelligence robotics there will be a lot of job opportunities and satellite communication as uh, in all over the world as Amazon, Apple, all the countries or all the sorry, all the uh, top companies are planning to get more into satellite power, and there is a rumor spreading out that uh, natural resources related industries will be put down because of electric vehicles. That won't happen that soon. Natural resources are not only for petrol and diesel generation, there are a lot of chemicals manufactured out of that which are very essential for day to day living, and also petrol and diesel has its uh, role on many other sources as well. But still, uh, electric power is much welcome with less automobile pollution. Let's have a pollution-free world, which is much required. And uh, also, 
in this 2020 let there be a change in the attitude of investors and uh, uh, scientists who are into robotics uh, artificial intelligence machine learning automobile manufacturing get into agriculture sector as well agriculture is very essential and uh, agriculture pollution is being the main reason for the delhi's pollution by the as the nearby farmers in punjab and uh, haryana ban the crops so get into those fields to incorporate social responsibility even though it's harder uh, try to bring in some culti- me- change in methodology of agriculture usual robotics artificial intelligence that don't go on easy money making tools like uh, uh, artificial intelligence and robotics for uh, in uh, for entertaining all those stuff they may make a lot of money but still what value you add to the society is also much important and uh, again these are going to be the top fields of job creation and uh, what we are going to see in addition to this is uh, uh, pre- uh, some preaching from uh, two prophets prophets one is baba vanga i will first tell about that baba vanga uh, was born on uh, 31st jan 1911 and died on 11th august 2000, 1996 he was born on north macedonia near greek on old ottoman emperor His nationalities are Ottoman, Bulgarian, and Yugoslavian. And another one person is Michael D. Nostradam, and he is a Jew by birth. He wrote a collection of 942 poetic poems. Uh, he lived from 14th December 1503 to 2 July 1566. There were two movies after him. This was uh, called as the Man Who Saw the Tomorrow and the Prophecies of Nostradam. So, if you see these movies, you will get more details about them. and what they have professed about 2020 is uh, they have said uh, two main prophecies about two great leaders of the world one is the american president mr donald trump and 2020 america is going to have its election what these people have said is he will get into a brain tumor like kind of a the problem or his ears will become deaf already he is deaf to it so many as other country people needs he is only concentrating to the americans needs maybe that deafness may increase much or in the election if he lose is uh, uh, lose to win that maybe he is fired from his job <laughs> so that could be the death, but not a real kind of any disasters come to him let's, let's wish him as well well let this new year be good and prosperous for him as well and uh, for russian president uh, mr putin same life threat <laughs> he may be fired by his close like close circle of snipers that there also may be a fire from his position but not even that because i don't hear that the elections is coming so close <laughs> on uh, russia and uh, russia what, what another one thing they have, these people have predicted is a uh, stone from uh, uh, universe will come and hit on the earth and that will create a very big damage in russia and the north and south pole will engage on trade north and south pole is already engaged on trade and uh, for this uh, stone Russia is already ready with ready with hypersonic missiles which travels at a speed of four times than that of a sound which is make uh, especially prepared for uh, 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 diminishing or completely uh, destroying any stones from universe that's a fire stones or whatever you call it a flying stones asteroids in the correct term so russia is already pre- prepared to save Putin, even if it's from a, a extraterrestrial threat, and uh, robotics, and uh, they also said aliens will visit. Our big brother America is already ready to send a robotic squad to Mars, to Mars the planet, uh, and this squad will be controlled by the team in NASA in uh, America, and these uh, robots will be having artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, all those blah blah blah. which is said are going to be the future job openings sectors and aerospace satellite and uh, aeronautics electronics and communication and electronics and uh, instrumentation whatever related to electronics and it again are going to be the top uh, job sourcing fields but still chemical will have the same pride there are a lot of rumors spreading that chemical industries and chemical industry based it companies will as well close but that won't happen i will explain the reason in the upcoming uh, speech and now let me complete this uh, space batch so these people these robots 
may come back to us as aliens <laughs> so that prediction also will go well and another one thing is china will become a superpower and america and uh, russia will be in trouble yes america and russia are already in trouble uh, but uh, wish them both to come up and survive well and let this uh, beginning of year be a happy and prosperous one for all humans all over the world let there be no god no racism or any kind of violence which harms human beings but china i they are going to become a supreme super power but they will definitely become because they are planning to create an uh, or two artificial suns and three artificial moons by 2020 for their nation they are saying that this uh, light is going to be given only to their nation so no other nation can question them i don't know what they are going to answer for global warming this is a stupidity increasing global warming increasing the pressure on every human being changing the lifestyle of everyone i work on night shifts for my survival but still i feel hot on nights even if the cool climate is not going to be for people people who have to find a dark room to sleep what about plants and others they do these people think yeah really before uh, getting into science scientific advancements irritating to hear some people have the attitude if i am a leader or i won the uh, something or i have done some touch something so great i would make fist every people and make them to work like anything <coughs> and become so popular and powerful first some way this uh, project of making the sun and moon should be banned otherwise the humanity will disappear from the world this is my humble request to all the world nations all the world organizations ban this project this will lead to natural disaster global warming water level will rise up this is also a prediction if people like this to come up with this kind of invention why not water level will increase <coughs> and many of the things that only western countries western countries have digit channels already to safeguard them they are doing it to safeguard them not to create trouble to the whole world so that the water flow will be even all over the world so whole world will be affected because of this rise in water in the sea level so let day be day and night be night okay and um, that's all the hot news i had and india is going much because india is going to have good ties up with the our big brother the world uh, leader usa in aeronautics and with russia as well on many of the projects and uh, they said that russia and ukraine will come up with a very good treaty as well that's a very good uh, sign but russia will become a very big superpower because the only place where russia is lacking behind uh, with the us is on uh, ship manufacturing naval they get that ukraine uh, huge uh, ship manufacturing deck they will also work well on that area as well but i am not supporting the warheads manufacturing but at this time at this stage the main requirement for india is to have indigenous manufacturing of it's uh, for its defense needs that will be well met on 2020 so there will also be a large amount of opportunities there as amazon and apple are planning to send a lot of satellites that will also give a lot of opportunities in the area of it and electronic sector so that's a very good news and apart from that i don't have much to talk about and as you should subscribe ask your friends to subscribe share on whatever the social medias which are related click the share button see all the social medias below create an account on that or if you already have an account well and good log in and share my videos and ask your friends to subscribe and share and like press the thumbs up is like okay press the thumbs up symbol below my videos and like this if you go on doing i will soon get a very good uh, income out of my uh, youtube channel and i will become a full time youtube player so you have a lot of time to sleep peacefully and uh, i can end up my night shift life as well <laughs> so like madan gauri and uh, tamil pokesh we can also want to become full time youtuber but unlike them saying that i will work very particularly about youtube we will do so many activities i just want full income from youtube so make my youtube channel a great success so it's all on your hands and another thing i thought of speaking at this time is let this well let this new year be a happy new year for everyone without war violence poverty and refugees mainly for them and people who are suffering because of war violence draft without food water let mercy of lot prevail on them 
let us all as humans raise our voice for governments and organization value organization to give proper food clothing shelter to the all the needy people when we say all the needy people everyone around us will be happy automatically we will also be happy i request all political leaders and world leaders and everyone who is on a responsible role to treat everyone with humanity and meet the needs of all human beings in the world thank you very much for your time so jojo ji signing off from you bye